guys what is up welcome back to my channel so today's video i'm going to show you two full days of eating dirty lazy keto i also do intermittent fasting i kind of stick to my own fasting schedule i listen to my body but most of the time i fast between 16 and 18 hours uh yeah so i'm not super strict with it uh, but intermittent fasting definitely is a tool that works for me it has worked for me for the last 74 weeks on my journey and it is something that i am going to be doing for the rest of my life. I love to do intermittent fasting. First off, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. Turn on the bell for notifications. Also, I have a support group on Facebook, The Shrinkables. Uh, we'd love to have you join our community over there. The link is below. If you're looking for some accountability, just some other people to take this journey with you. We're all in this together. So yeah, I'm going to show you exactly what I ate for two full days. Dirty Lazy Keto, Let's go. Hey guys, welcome to another what I eat in a day video. So we are keto today and I'm going to show you what I plan to eat today. And uh, yeah, you hear that sound again. That's the swing downstairs again. It's very loud. But when I hear it, I know my kids are having fun downstairs, not bothering me so I can film. So yeah, <laughs> let's get into the video. All right guys, so this morning I fasted, of course. I had uh, just my Skinny Brew coffee with my French vanilla nut pods and unsweetened vanilla almond milk. And I had one iced coffee, that is what I had this morning. And it is now 1.37, so I actually fasted for uh, quite a long time. I'm just starting to get hungry now. And I am gonna have a chaffle sandwich. Are you surprised? Probably not. Uh, we actually had rotisserie chicken last night uh, from the store. So I'm going to have a chicken sandwich uh, for lunch today for my first meal. So right now I have the waffle maker heating up so I can make my chaffles, my crispy cheesy chaffles, and then we're gonna have a chicken sandwich. So yeah, let's go. So I'm gonna go let my chaffles cool down a little bit. They just came out of the waffle maker, uh, but I did measure out uh, two ounces of rotisserie chicken, which is 16 grams of protein. And my two chaffles together equals 12 grams of protein between the chaffle mix and the cheese. Uh, so the entire uh, meal is 28 grams of protein. So we're gonna put some mayonnaise on uh, after the chaffles cool down and make my chicken sandwich.
Alright guys, so I just got out of the shower and uh, I did have a snack earlier. I actually had four mini Slim Jims. I haven't had a Slim Jim in a while and I used to eat them all the time. It is definitely a dirty keto food. It's processed, obviously, loaded with sodium. Uh, but I love Slim Jims. They're just super yummy. Anyway, I used to eat them all the time and I just haven't, I eat definitely more clean. Even though I am dirty keto, I definitely eat more clean than I did before, uh, which is ultimately better for us. We want to eat as clean as possible. The weight is going to come off a lot faster, the cleaner we eat, obviously. So yeah, anyway, I just had that little snack. I did have a skinny brew coffee in the afternoon, an iced coffee again. And uh, yeah, we are having leftovers for dinner tonight. So the other night I made bacon wrapped chicken tenders in the air fryer, really super yummy. I did it while I was carnivore and that was actually my fourth day. I say carnivore for four and a half days. So I had this for dinner without any veggies, but technically it's not carnivore because the sauce is made with G Hughes sugar-free barbecue sauce, which is really super yummy. I love G Hughes uh, dressings and marinades and sauces. I get it right on Amazon. Uh, the link is below, but the sauce called for the sugar-free barbecue sauce, also monk fruit, uh, golden sweetener, which is like brown sugar, really, really good. And also uh, mustard. So wrap the chicken tenders up with a bacon and then uh, put that sauce on it and then air fried it. So I will put the recipe link in the description uh, below if you guys want to make it because it really was good. So that's what we're having tonight for leftovers and we're having some green beans as well. And that will be my dinner. So if I have anything else later on, I will let you know I'm going to eat. I'm hungry. Hey guys, so I never talked about what I had last night after dinner. I actually had two built bars. <laughs> so after dinner, it was like shortly after dinner, I was still kind of a little hungry for something sweet, which is unusual. I usually don't have dessert or anything like that. I don't crave sweets, uh, but I was craving something sweet, something chocolatey. So I did have a built bar last night, uh, a strawberry flavor, which I had never tried before. It was really good. And then a little later, it was like a couple hours later, I was hungry again, so I had another Bilt Bar. I'm seriously obsessed with these now. I don't know why it took me so long to try them. But anyway, I had another Bilt Bar, um, and it was Cherry Barcia. That's what they call it, Cherry Barcia. And that one is really super good, too. So... I actually got a box of assorted uh, flavors, which is awesome because I can just try them all. I would definitely recommend uh, checking it out and trying different flavors because they all, really, they all are really, really good. And if you do get any Built Bar, uh, make sure to use my link below. Put in the code Steffi and you're going to get 10% off your order. So I'm obsessed with Built Bar. So yeah, I had two Built Bars last night. So yeah, that's what I had yesterday. Hey guys, good morning. Well, actually it's afternoon. It is 12 o'clock and I'm about to have my first meal. I fasted until now, had my skinny brew coffee this morning, and this is what I'm having for lunch. I am having a whole can of tuna. I hope you're getting that, okay. A whole can of tuna mixed with mozzarella cheese and half of an avocado. So that is what I'm having for lunch. It's gonna fill me up, lots of protein, lots of healthy fats. And yeah, I have PT tonight. So Chris is gonna be making dinner tonight. So stay tuned for that. I'll let you guys know what I'm having later on. Oh, also I wanted to mention, I'm really horrible about getting my water in. I need to drink more water. And a while ago, I got this water bottle, which is my magic water bottle. Whenever I fill it up, I always drink the entire thing. So why don't I do it more often, right? So this is my water bottle. I got it right on Amazon and really pretty. And it has like positive words as you, you know, uh, drink your bottle. Good morning. Hydrate yourself. Remember your goal. Keep chugging. Feeling awesome. Don't give up. Almost finished. You did it. So the first time I actually got this water bottle, I drank two of these. So I drank a gallon of water in a day. That's not me, okay? I don't drink a gallon of water. So anyway, my goal is at least 64 ounces of water. So I filled this up today and I'm already there. I mean, come on guys, why don't I do this more often? 
Anyway, um, if you guys want to get one of these, they're they're awesome. I definitely uh, recommend it for those who struggle with water. Um, like I said, I got it right on Amazon, and that link is below. Uh, and they have different colors and stuff like that. But anyway, filled that up today, and I am rocking my water today. So I just wanted to put that in there too. Hey guys, I am on my way to physical therapy, and it is so freaking cold out. It is a high of one degree here in Maine today. Like seriously, so cold. And I still drink iced coffee. Yeah, I'm crazy. So anyway, I'm kind of late, so I'm going to go. Uh, but I just want to share that I made a quick snack before I before I left. This is kind of my go-to snack. And if you've been following me and watching my What I Eat in a Day videos, you'll see this a lot. It's uh, two slices of deli ham and one mozzarella cheese stick just rolled up into a ham and cheese uh, roll. So super yummy, protein, on the go. All right, got to go. All right, guys, so I just got home from physical therapy and Chris is cooking dinner. We are having breakfast for dinner once again. I feel like we always have breakfast for dinner, but literally it's so easy and it's such a great keto meal that you can have for like breakfast, lunch, or dinner. So that is what we're having tonight. And I'm gonna have uh, uh, cheesy scrambled eggs. We mix them with mozzarella cheese and some bacon because you can never go wrong with bacon. So yeah, that's what I'm having for dinner and it is quarter past six o'clock right now and we'll be eating shortly yum all right guys there it is uh two full days of dirty lazy keto if you like this video give me a like subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and also join my support group on facebook that link is below i hope you guys are having a fantastic week and i will see you at the next video stay safe and choose health guys bye